Good morning, losers. It is December 14th, day 31, 34 degrees <laughs> this morning. So definitely a little chilly, uh, but we are up and at it and making it happen. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. And my method for this first 50 days is to walk a mile in the morning, I gotta get my ear covered, and then go to the gym at night. Check that car out, huh? Some of the neat things we see on our walk in the morning. We are back on course. I think the hardest part for me, it's honestly not staying consistent. It's just that unhealthy brain Derek and trying to be healthy brain Derek occupy the same space. Sometimes having to admit that you are weaker than strong, recognizing those areas you can improve. It's not always easy, especially when you still struggle to believe in yourself. Definitely a learning process. Definitely got a lot of things I can work on. But I just gotta remember not to get lost in the sauce and just take it one day at a time. All right guys, so here's a quick grocery haul. I'll go over a little bit more detail, but just so you guys can kind of get an idea. All right, so real quick, uh, multi-grain bread. <clears throat> I used to buy, I was a big advocate of Dave's bread, but this is like literally $3 cheaper, same amount of protein, same amount of fiber, and same amount of carbs. So I buy guacamole, because I like to put it on my sandwiches and other stuff. Uh, that's chicken, that's for our salad night. It's already pre-diced. You guys know about my P3 snack. I do the turkey ham. Uh, this time I did Swiss cheese. You'll see the three blocks of Swiss cheese. Got some yellow squash because it looked pretty tasty. Avocados for when I occasionally do avocado toast. This will go as a side for a dinner. Uh, these sweet potato bites don't have any additives, which is awesome. They're delicious. I pair those with a lot of my meals at night uh, so I can get some, some good good carbs in me. This is the lunch meat I use, chicken breast. This is just a snack option. Uh, just turkey, turkey jerky sticks. Some oranges. This goes in my eggs. Normally I do the turkey sausage because it's a little less fat content, uh, but that's, they were out, so that's what I got. The ground turkey will go into our, uh, basically it's a deconstructed taco. So basically like the bowls you can get at Chipotle. <clears throat> we're actually doing that for tonight, so it'll be that the black beans, corn, brown rice. Got some more of my Kodiak cake oatmeal for breakfast. Some fresh bananas back there, grapes. Uh, the almonds that go for my snack. Fresh broccoli, I don't like frozen broccoli because I really do just like to chew on broccoli sometimes. I'll break off a couple sprigs and have it with my lunch. Uh, the Fairlife chocolate milk, some blueberries. So yeah, there's a couple nights worth. So yeah, and the spring mix in the back, and then baby spinach. The baby spinach goes on my sandwiches, it goes in my eggs, and just about everywhere. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I try to keep things pretty simple. This will last me about a week. Um, also for dinner, to go with the uh, sweet potato puffs, we've got, so we do our version of like American fish and chips, and it's uh, grilled fish fillets, and then the sweet potatoes. So. It's about five days worth of food. We've got a salad night. We've got the turkey taco bowls. Uh, we've got the fish and chips. Uh, one night we're just doing uh, low sodium tomato soup 
and I'll just do a couple pieces of bread with that so I can get some carbs and some fiber. So again, very, very simple. So, but you guys have been asking, so I just wanted to give a quick rundown of what a, what a week's worth of groceries looks like. Hey losers. So just finished up my warm up on the bike and another non-scale victory. I can sit on plastic chairs now, which is pretty exciting. One I fit, two it hasn't completely broken yet. Uh, as I was riding the bike or doing the recumbent step clamber, I was listening to a talk uh, by Tom Bilyeu. He's the owner of Quest Nutrition. I'll link the one I was listening to, but I, I kind of been stuck in some emotions, had some personal things going on. And the guy that he was interviewing, I don't remember his name, but he talked about how you can have the emotion or you can have progress, but you can't have both. So that really hit home to me, just how much I've sat tethered to my emotions and kind of anchored in the same place because on top of that, I ate my emotions. I, I was always putting my feelings into my mouth all the time. But not only that, I, I allowed those, those feelings, those emotions to literally hold me in place. And so thinking about the process of letting go, and I know we've talked about forgiving ourselves sometimes and forgiving others, but it's just not worth it to hold on to those burdens. Uh, that there are too many variables in this life that we can't take control of a couple of which happened over the course of the last week for me, and there's, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't, I can't control it, I can't change it, but I can control myself, and I can control getting myself to the gym and powering through those things. And that doesn't mean don't be with your emotions, because they're valid, and I think it's important to, to be in that moment and learn from those things, but I just got to thinking about it. You can have your emotions and stay in those emotions, or you can have progress, but you can't have both. And that really, like, I don't know, I don't know if it does anything for you guys, but I was like, wow. So just wanted to share, we gotta get downstairs and do some chest and triceps, but <sighs> slowly starting to feel better and I appreciate your guys' support. So let's get it done. Hey losers, so good chest tricep workout. Uh, seeing incremental gains as far as the amount of weight I'm able to do, I'm not able to push as much as I want because you have to, it's either you get a spotter or you get a cameraman. So wifey can't be both. Uh, and it was really only me and one other guy and he was really getting after it so I didn't want to bug him. But I was able to get 155 eight times. I was gonna go for, I was gonna go for 10, but I, after that eighth one, I'm like, and I like to do those force reps because I know you can really get in there and get some work done, but 
hung it up for eight. And then on the incline, dumbbell press. Uh, and then I did the close grip, get that upper chest, get some triceps going at the same time. Uh, normally I did 20, I did 25. Last set I did 30, but I failed. I got the eight doing the press, and when I came together, I only got like four or five. So it's good seeing some incremental gains, but making sure I'm matching paces with them, pushing some heavier weight, uh, making sure I'm working for those last couple reps. So this is also a guy I didn't know tonight, so I just need to introduce myself more so I don't have to be scared to ask for a, a spot because I really love getting those last couple forced reps to really break things down a little bit. Other than that, it was a good workout. Uh, had a good walk this morning, feeling like I'm back, back on track and ready to finish these last 20 days. So thank you guys for the continued support. Make sure you subscribe, ding the little bell. See you guys in the next one. Convince yourself that it'll work out When fail your reasons and push it back down Keep moving